Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Tonight I'm just going to do a really simple tutorial on how to get some blue tones for your studio images. And these are pretty clean, simple tones um, that you can use and they do tend to work on fairly bright images quite well. Um, so yeah, this is why I've decided to do these particular tones on these images because they were um, a little bit brighter in studio. And I think they tend to work quite well with these types of images. So um, feel free to give this a go. If you've got any images that you're working on, you're not really sure what tones might suit. Um, I found these are quite versatile. So um, yeah, without further ado, I'll get into the tutorial. So first off, we're going to put a solid color into the image. So we're going to click on our adjustments and go to adjustment layer, solid color. So I'll move this in. And for the first color, the number will be 101431. I'll press OK. It's a dark, sort of bluish color. We're going to set that to lighten at 46%. OK, so once we've done that, well, I'll just show you guys what that's done. So it's just filled in the really dark sections of the image with a more blue toned color so already we've kind of got a little bit more of a blue effect so we just go to our adjustment layers and go level our sliders across to for shadows and for highlights we'll move it to 247 now we're going to go back to our adjustment layers and bring up a selective color and we're going to work on the yellows first so we're just going to bring the uh, magentas and the yellows down to minus four. And we're going to change as well the neutrals. And we're going to change the neutrals cyan to minus one, magenta to minus one, yellow to minus six, and we'll leave black at zero. Now we'll go to the blacks and cyan will be plus two, magenta will be minus one, yellow will be plus one, and black will just be left at zero. So I'll show you guys what that has done with the selective color. So it's just kind of like brought a little bit more uh, coolness into the image overall. We've sort of dropped the yellows a little bit because they were looking quite strong there. So just by putting that selective color on, it's kind of taken the yellow away a little bit. Now we're going to go to our adjustment layers again and bring up curves. So the first point we're going to map in curves is just going to stay at 0 and 0, where it is. The second point will be at 77 and 81. The second point will be at 204 and 200. Then the next point will just be left at 255, where it is. Now we're going to go into the blue channel and we're going to map a couple of points in there as well. The first one will be 12 and 2. The next point will be 122 and 121. The next point will be 255 and 245. Okay, so we've finished with curves now. We'll go back to our adjustment layers once again and we'll go into vibrance. And now we're just going to bring the vibrance down to minus three. Now back to adjustment layers one more time and we're going to bring in another solid color this time. This color is going to be 4CBA87. And okay, we're going to change this particular blending mode to darken. And we're going to bring the opacity right down to 2%. So I'm just going to show you what the last couple of layers have done to the image. So the curves has just sort of given it a little bit more contrast and still added to the blue tones. The vibrance has just kind of taken away the strength of the tones a little bit, just kind of faded it in a little bit, just slightly. And then this last, it's kind of hard to see here, but once I zoom in, the green colouring has just kind of taken the harshness of the redness from the highlights and just kind of flattened it slightly. 
without sort of taking away most of the contrast. Alright, so that's the end of the tutorial. I'm going to do a before and after now. So I'll go to my history panel. Okay, so this was the before and that is the after. I'll just do it once more. So before and after. Alright guys, I hope you really enjoyed this tutorial. I haven't been doing as many colouring tutorials lately because I feel like maybe you guys might be getting a little bit bored of them. I'm not really sure. Um, I know they can be kind of helpful sometimes though. So like if, if you can keep the requests coming, that's always good. Uh, it gives me kind of new ideas to do for colouring tutorials. But I will hopefully have some more up soon. Anyway guys, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!